fountain of life. A collection of live recorded sermons from His Grace Bishop Emilianos Maloa aiming to make us fountains of the Holy Spirit. Here is today's message. Today the Holy Gospel told us that if our eye is sound, and the most accurate tradition could, um, translation could be if our eye is simple, then the whole of our body will be bright. How can we explain this? It doesn't matter what we see, but what matters is how we see things. So two people might have the same picture in front of them, and one of them might be scandalized, and the other one might not be scandalized. And the other one might think of God regardless of what it is in front of him. So it doesn't matter what we see, but it does matter how we see things. And sometimes it's not our fault if we see things in a suspicious way. This is how we were brought up. If one of our parents was always suspicious, if they were to see evil behind everyone, conspiracies and unethical things behind everyone's attitude and behavior, without us doing anything special, we will inherit this way of thinking. But this is only because it was in our environment and it's not because it was in our genes. So we inherit things from our environment. And this is why we have to be very careful what we teach and how we behave in front of our children. But even if we were raised to be suspicious about everything, we can reverse this attitude. How? By focusing on God. If I focus on God, regardless what I see in front of me, it will be too small. What is this difficulty or, or what is this situation comparing to the eternity? It's nothing. It exists today, but tomorrow it will not exist. The only thing that will exist at the end of our lives is God. So nothing is as important to take our attention away from God. And if I trained my intellect to think in this way, then I might see a lot of different things in front of me, but I will not be distracted. I will not be scandalized. I will not find evil in everything in front of me. I will only find goodness because regardless what I see, what matters is how I interpret what I see and what message I get from what I see. And I will say an example that we said before, and it's very well known, but I think it is important, although it's very simple. Once there was an ascetic in Alexandria, and with his disciple, he happened to be in the city. And in front of him, there was a very beautiful lady that was walking by, and she was a prostitute. And he started crying, and his disciple asked him, Why do you cry, Yeruda? And he said, I'm crying because look how she is taking care of herself, how beautiful she is to be liked by men. What do I do for my soul so that God likes my soul? And he was crying. So what he saw? He transfigured it into prayer, and he did not get scandalized. What we see in front of us usually scandalizes us, even if it is innocent. We have to train ourselves to reverse this mentality and to think of God regardless of what we see in front of us. And then our eye 
will bring brightness into our soul.